Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and it appears that we have another MonsterVerse update. A new promotional image, possibly the actual cover art, for the upcoming graphic novel Godzilla Aftershock, which is the prequel to Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019, has been revealed. This is what it looks like. It gives us our first official look at the new Mystery Titan, which at this point still hasn't been named. As you can see, unlike the previous teaser image, this new creature, though sharing a few similarities to the Muto, doesn't really look all that Muto-ish. Different coloration, different body structure, different limbs... It's practically a new creature unto itself. And I'm not entirely sure about the structuring of it. I mean, I'm looking at this picture, and I'm trying to figure out how its limbs are supposed to work and where they're coming from, but it doesn't really make much sense. Could just be the angling. Now, of course, this has led to some speculation that this new creature, whatever it is, is somehow much, much bigger than Godzilla. And judging by this image, I can understand where that perception is coming from, because that's exactly what it looks like. However, I'm not entirely sure we should be taking this image too literally. Look down in the lower left hand corner. You see all of those buildings? You see how much smaller they are than both of these monsters? I think what we're looking at is something similar to the final poster for the 2014 film, where Godzilla was portrayed as much bigger than the buildings around him for dramatic effect, but it wasn't meant to be taken as exactly literal. There's probably something similar happening here, though that still leaves the question of whether or not the monsters are to scale with each other, even if they're not to scale with their environment. It's also rather curious that Godzilla retains his 2014-style dorsal fins for this cover, as opposed to having the 2019 fins that more closely resemble the original Godzilla. Again, might just be for the cover. At this point, we really don't know. Either way, the new monster looks... unusual. I'll have to see more images of it before I can make any sort of final assessment. But it's definitely not just Muto 2.0, there's clearly more going on here than just being a larger Muto. So, we'll see what happens. And as always, you're free to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.